start with about four minutes of questions for the student athletes. Antoine, you hit a shot with 4.6. It's usually good enough to get you in overtime. I mean, take me through that frantic last seconds there. We had a play drawn up, and things took me away, so I just popped. And then take me down the other end. I mean, AJ gets the ball, goes the court. I got the ball. He just he didn't pull the shot. He just contested very well. Just sent a shot. Just just describe your swing of the ball. Get that shot to how we did that. I mean, it was obviously a big shot, but it was just ready to get a stop on the other end. So that when we got overtime, it wasn't. Really um, Doug, talk a little bit just about coming back. I mean, it was a case. They had jumped ahead of you um, last month at uh, the Quest Center, but yep. this time they seem maybe a little more uh, savvy about protecting their lead. Yeah, for sure. Uh, got to give them a lot of credit. Uh, they, they played really well today, hit some tough shots. Um, but you got to give, like I said, a lot of credit. Uh, great atmosphere. and got to learn from this and move on. Yeah. Coach, did you get the shot that you wanted? Oh, we're going to do the student athletes first. Any other questions for the student athletes? All right. Thanks, guys. Antoine, if you didn't have the radio, give me a second. All right, thanks for our you know, the game was very similar to the one we played in Omaha. You know, it was uh, outside of their barrage of threes to start the game over there. Um, you know, really their barrage of threes came at the end uh, today. Uh, you know, it's, they're a team that's been struggling shooting the basketball. We played some percentages, uh, and obviously they made us made us pay for that. And you know, we weren't uh, we weren't our best offensively. Got a little sloppy at times, which isn't uh, which isn't like us. Uh, but you know, Northern Iowa got us to play the game at the Temple they wanted to play at, and uh, they've been able to do that twice. That's a credit to them. Questions, Coach? On your end, did you get the shot that you wanted there on that three? Well, you, you, you've got a, a relatively good look at a three. Uh, you know, we ran a couple different plays, and they did a good job defending them. And uh, Antoine's instructions were: if, if it breaks down, get the ball. And, Antoine's good with that little step back. It's a shot that he's had in his repertoire for a long time. And um, he had a big shot. And, you know, and uh, obviously, James made a bigger shot going the other direction. You know, he did what you wanted to do. Normally, you want a guy to go left in that situation and not allow him to go with his right hand to get into that shot. Uh, and we didn't have any timeouts left, so we couldn't really set a defense. So you know, they, we had a big shot to give ourselves a chance. They had a big shot to win the game. And it uh, you know, came down to one possession, just a good basketball game. Was there, when you say you yeah, had a little sloppy offensively, credit to their defense? Or? I, I thought we were stagnant, for, in particular, to start the game. We scored on four of our first 16 possessions, which, it, which isn't like us. I just thought we uh, were a little slow getting into our ball screens, our, our movement away from the ball uh, wasn't what it needed to be. And then once we settled down this, to end the half, I think we scored on 10 of our last 13 possessions in the first half. So we got into a better groove. Antoine got into the teeth of the defense. And, uh, you know, let's face it. We had some we had some pretty open shots from the perimeter that, that we didn't make, uh, and uh, you know, because from a rebounding standpoint, we dominated the game. Uh, second chance points, we dominated the game. Uh, just you and I hit some really big shots at critical times. What about you know Young? I think he had a season high 21 the first time. He does it again? He's just good at taking advantage of what they're trying to do against. Yeah, Doug. they're not really guarding him. They're going under ball screens and they're deep ball screens. So he's getting to 15, 17 feet. He's a senior. He's been in this league a long time. Uh, you know, you do that, he, he'll beat you, and he almost did it again. Talk about uh, the double teams and the defense they played against Doug tonight. You know, it wasn't anything we didn't expect. I thought Doug's patience was good. Uh, you know, obviously he gets 18 and. Gets 12 boards to go with it. So, you know, he and Gregory, I thought, were active around the basket uh, against some of their switches and took advantage of some of that. Um, but, you know, we, we just needed some offense from somewhere else. We got uh, Antoine and Doug were good. Gregory, you know, got, got a few baskets for us. But uh, our, our wings didn't score for us tonight like they normally do. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just one of those nights you play 25 games, they're not all going to be perfect. And you hope when you're not perfect, 
uh, that you find a way to gut one out, and we almost found a way to get this one into overtime. But uh, all the credit goes to you and I. They, they, they played a great basketball game. They played us great twice. Uh, they've controlled the tempo better than anybody has on us all year. Um, and we won a close one, and they won a close one. Matt, you haven't, uh, it's the first time you lost since, since late December. You hung 102 on Illinois State the last time out. Is there is there any teaching moment you can take from this or just maybe a reminder that, hey, you know, it's going to be tough the rest of the way out? You know, as I told the team, this group of guys have done an unbelievable job of learning through our success and improving as we've been successful. And that's that's rare in this day and age. Usually uh, when, you're, when your back's being patted all the time, uh, you're not as apt to listen to the things that are going wrong and trying to fix them. And this, this group has not been that way at all. And balls I asked him is we, we need to approach defeat in much the same way that we've approached victory. we got to look at it. We've got to figure out what went wrong, what we can fix, what we did well, and then put it in the rearview mirror and get ready for the next one. Because we go to Evansville Tuesday, we host Wichita Saturday. So this is uh, this was the start of a big week for us. Two more. Six point lead for you and I there with about five minutes left. It's a, a real big lead, but with as tight as this game was, how tough was it? Well, we went to some zone, and the zone paid dividends for us for a couple possessions, and then the zone probably ended up costing us at the end. Uh, so, you know, we, we they're, they're shooting two free throws the rest of the way. Uh, we had some guys with four fouls. We were concerned about that, uh, so we went to the zone um, simply because you and I have been struggling. I think they've been a 30% three-point shooting team the last five games. Uh, so, you know, I'm a guy that plays the numbers a lot, and uh, this afternoon didn't work for me. What were you trying to get on that last shot? We had several options. We, you know, we had Ethan coming off. We had, uh, uh, you know, Doug coming off a little pin down, and then, you know, but they switched it. They were aggressive, but you know, and I was, I wasn't surprised uh, when you got a team that's as good defensively as you and I, and you're in that situation, especially when you've used your last time out. Uh, they're probably going to take away option one, two, and three, and you're going to have to go to something else. And you know, fortunately, Antoine made a great play and at least gave us a chance. Not very often, Grant has the kind of shooting night that he had tonight. I mean, and nobody's more disappointed in Grant. You know, he, he missed a couple free throws, and he, he just wasn't himself for whatever reason. And, uh, you know, he's he sucked it up a lot for us this season with his leg injury, and uh, you know, continues to gut it out and, and play good basketball for us. But, like I said, you, you play a lot of games, and uh, you know, we, we wouldn't be where we are today without Grant Gibbs. And we just had a, we had a day that wasn't typical of Grant Gibbs. That's good.